Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy IX with me, Get Daved. So, we're moseying back to Daguario, actually. Uh, we'll get to the Chocographs, don't worry. But we're heading back here for a couple reasons. How will I know my thief rank? We want to set the wheels in motion. Oh, there he is. To, uh, to get Excalibur. Oh, a couple people were asking me, hey, why didn't you get this? That's uh, because the Sargatanus is not that great. We can make it later, and then you'll see. Oh, yeah, still the poor old Rouge. I think there's other ways of getting it. I think you could buy it from the auction house. I had someone in the comments section tell me all about it. E! I'm coming along. I've never been higher than G. Alright, we're looking for the guy who's going to talk about the magical fingertip as well. You guys are debating the play still? Oh, why do we st study Gaia's moons? That's part of it. Uh, I'm gonna side for her on, with her on this one. There we go. You bet. I'll give you something in return, and he will. And now the second last thing we're going to do here. Um, they sell really good stuff. Really, really good stuff here. Um, the Ultima Sword, pretty darn good. But we don't need to buy that. Dot, dot, dot. Uh, the Bistro Fork? No, the, the Gastro Fork is the best one for, for her. Also... Yeah, Freya can use the Dragon Wrist. I skipped past it. A few people brought that to my attention. A few thousand. Um, let's just see what else we can get here. The Golden Hairpin. I don't know if it's going to be worth buying another one. I will pass. That's just my reflexive fi Final Fantasy-ism being like, The Golden Hairpin's amazing! Wow. Okay, so we stole kind of everything we needed. Good to know. We're right at end game equipment or stuff that's in the same ballpark. Um, once you get your attack power to around 70, I mean, that's... That's close to as good as it gets. Alright, but first... We're gonna go to Trino. Also, by the way, if you want a robe of lords, which is the best robe armor in the game, yeah, I wondered if we'd take this route. Um, you can get it by completing the frog catching mini game by catching 100 frogs, and that makes Quina able to do a lot of damage with her froggeries, her frogging attacks. So, you know, that. Um,. You can also get it by doing the Stilezio side quest. Which I guess I... I don't know. I could have routed more efficiently by picking all of them up. I've got about half of them and we can pick the others up fairly quickly now. But I mean, I kind of want to do the Excalibur thing. So... One moment. Alright, I accidentally walked here, so... Ooh, six, six Stilezio. How many more do we got? I think I have a couple on hand. This is the dawning of the... I wish I knew them better. I mean, not seriously. It's pretty low on my priority list. Capricorn. We're so close. 
I also have never completed this, but I do know the reward is a robe of lords. Quack, quack, quack. Black belt, not bad. Okay, so we've got four to go. Um, I'm just gonna make a list quickly. I see Pisces, I think that's the fish. As Aries on the left and um, popcorn, we got them all. All right, I was in the neighborhood, so I thought I'd at least come check out what monster we can fight. Um, it's a behemoth, which gives me a little bit of pause. <laughs> um, who would be? Whoa, why is she in the back row? That might explain a few things. Um, I mean, Zidane's still got probably the most damage. I guess actually, yeah, that strength differential probably still favors Zidane and he's got a lot more HP. Um, let's just go all the way for Dark Gear to raise his defense. And we'll pick something that bumps his stats up a bit more too. He already has auto haste. If we're just going for a fight, this raises strength and defense. That's probably as good as it's gonna get. All right, we're even just gonna adjust his his build for a one-shot fight. I don't know. We're not gonna steal from a behemoth. Don't know what status ailments they inflict. It might be a beast. Oh yeah, and MP attack. That'll give him some. That'll give him some some serious firepower. Okay. Want to fight the monster? Go get him. I'm a little afraid of this. Let's see what happens. The other two I've done have gone really well, so... I'm just getting ready for a mustard bomb or something. Or meteor. They often have meteor. Oh my goodness. Yeah, this ain't happening. Okay, thank you for the dodge. I'll take it. If we keep the clock ticking, he'll keep regenerating health. I don't see how he can survive another attack, though. Yep. Is that game over? Don't be such a fool. Well... If I do this... Also, before I forget, let's just check Frey's equipment here. Hmm... Boy, she kind of got interrupted learning a lot of important stuff. Okay. <laughs> Let's keep Prey in the party for a while. Well, Dragon Mail has the potential to be really good. Because it teaches high jump, and so you do basically double damage with every jump attack. And that's a good thing. I don't think I can do much else. Try focusing. All right, a little bit more defense, a little bit more evade, and I'm not really counting on magic evade. Sure. Oh yeah, and I forgot another important ability. Uh, I also want counter attack on. Just for one fight. Well, 
Whoops. I want to fight the monster. Okay, let's do it for real this time. I want to be the Boshi. Like, Auto Protect is the one I really want to have on, but... I don't have a Protect Ring, which is what you need to learn it. And they're kind of hard to come by. There we go. Only 600 damage instead of a bajillion. So, coupled with the fact that my regeneration rate is fixed... Oh boy, that one hurt a little bit more. This could still go quite well. See, we've done like 10,000 damage. More than that. Perfect, we've regenerated to full. We're about to have a drop off in our attack power here. Almost at like 20,000 damage. Yeesh! What an attack. Thank you, bad accuracy. This is ridiculous. This is basically how I beat the super boss in this game as well, was really relying on uh, auto regen. I put it on all of my characters. I beat it the hardest possible way. Because you can do a thing to make it take damage from some of its attacks, and you um, can also set things up to absorb it. But I didn't do that, and basically uh, relied on auto regen and then really slow attack animations. So that I basically summoned Bahamut over and over. And yeah, between the two of those... I had lots of time, and what triggers this? Oh, when near death. Huh, that would have been neat. Yeah, so I had really slow animations for summoning Bahamut over and over, and while that was happening, my characters could regenerate, so I basically got the healing from a Kiraga, that's about the level it did, while doing damage, and that was nice. It was a good thing. I honestly think auto haste isn't really amounting to much, although it couples well with the stealing. I don't know. And I like having a couple of these on, especially the cheaper ones. Uh, where's body temperature? There we go. All right, everyone, we're in business. And I'm just gonna adjust this to get our, get auto float. Look, he's gotta learn it someday. Might as well be four AP from now. All right, and we're almost at the auction house, so I'll just check if they're selling it first try. And if not, we'll do things the long way. Today's items are a rat tail. Feather boots. There we go. And a ribbon. A ribbon. Oh my goodness. Although... I think we already have the ribbon. Like, that's the one Ico was using. Yeah, enjoy those feather boots. I wonder how much the magical fingertip's gonna go for. I mean, they all seem to top out around 20,000. Any more? Man, it started up again. Oh my goodness, starting... Oh my goodness. We're already priced out. Oh boy. Oh boy. Well. Okay. That's disappointing. 
Uh, wanna know how to get a Stellatio? I didn't do this the first time. I mean, we could sell a bunch of stuff and make that kind of money. Also, one thing a person in the comment section told me, I haven't verified that this information is true, but uh, let's loop around this way. Uh, apparently when you're selling things like the rat's tail that I bought, um, apparently when you're doing that, you can like have the people barter against each other. So food for thought. All right, there's one, and there's another one in Trina that we're gonna get, and then we'll only have two left. It's not far, don't you worry. Don't you worry your pretty little head. Uh, where are you? There we go, this cute little fountain. You feel happier. We did that a bit, right? I'm just gonna put on the old fast forward. Anytime now. Oh, there we go. That was it. I was just getting another one. Two to go. Be right back. Also, I think I need to get a second job. All right, I just remembered there's a treasure on the Invincible, so we'll check it. <laughs> we'll check out that it's highly topical. Um, and let's explore the rest of the Invincible, shall we? Yep. Looks like it's powered by a, a crystal similar to some of the other ones. It could become pot roast. Well, you know what? That's probably as good a death as Queena can hope for. What a beautiful thing, pot roast. Well, to be honest, I don't care for it, but I assume Queena does. Wow, we've really explored the entire thing. Yeah. Thanks, Freya. I'm gonna choose to take that as just, wow, one of those things, rather than an insult. Oh yeah, I think the enemy types change a little bit. Yep. Yeah, the ship seems pretty neutral, and impeccably decorated. That's right, you gotta own it now. As a friend of mine sometimes says, it's like being shot. It's not your fault, but it is your problem. I mean, so she's sad, and it's because of things that have been brought upon her, but... I'm not getting a story from any of them. Hmm. Yep. Normally it would be beautiful. Alright, um... I'm not sure where the last one is. Be right back. Alright, I got into a random encounter, and it's a Marlboro, so we're just gonna... We're gonna see what happens. Also, Zane's still in the back row. I fixed everything but that. Not exactly excited to get hit with the old bad breath. Stole a vaccine. That's a bad sell. Virus tentacles? I'm gonna assume he just got the virus status ailment. Come on, Freya, there we go. Except we... I should probably stop attacking with that weapon. Perfect. <laughs> What terrible enemies they are. Pretty good reward, though, and indeed Amran did get virused. Good thing he's got lots of experience points. Alright, welcome to Quan's dwelling. I don't know if I've ever been here before. I mean, we saw it in the flashback, obviously. Received ether. 
Well, always good to have one of those. I don't think there's a way to get like a continuous stream of them. So, you know, worth it. Okay. Healing spring, always welcome. Ether. I thought... Yeah, there we go. Scorpio. That one I did have to look up. Except I um, didn't read the thing very closely, so I was like, eh, Quan's dwelling, and then I remembered just the picture. So anyway, that one I looked up. Hmm. Is there a Master Gourmand here? <laughs> this miracle! Is she going on a- <laughs> What? This is the happiest moment of my life. <laughs> is it all real or is Queen on drugs? What just happened? Saw an echo of the past? Oh, Quail is here? Her journey's paying off. Is her? Oh, it's not real food. Go on. No, what's the what's the true way? To pretend to eat? Yeah, I still feel like actually having it's an important part. Yeah, it could kind of help. Oh, hey! <laughs> awesome. Really? Interesting. Like a video game. Is he here at all? Yep. They were imagining. Because we know Grandpa already had to go away. Don't worry about it. He no have imagination. Oh, that time's never gonna come. You're being humored. Y yeah. Wait. 
Is there going to be an elixir inside an old grandfather clock? Eh, 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 eh. <whistles> ah, a pair of shoes. Makes sense. Okay, so that's when Vivi started his journey to go see a play. Well, we got an ether out of it. I'm satisfied. Also, we got a bunch of Stellatios. So we have, quote, all 12. Um, one other thing I'll mention is if you take a look at them in the key item menu... Eh. There we go. Each comes with a special story. Now, if you put them all together, and you have to order them in the order of the zodiac, I walked up a hill. They give you directions. And, uh, you know, they lead you somewhere. But we'll get there, we'll get there. Let's not be hasty. Oh, I'm already here, I might as well drop it off. And yes, I know these things because of researching the side quest. As established, I didn't know nothing about nothing. And I definitely didn't know nothing about muffin. Also, anyone want to take any bet? Oh, I always get lost here. How any bets on how much money we need for a magical fingertip? Because it's like 50,000. Does anyone need a thing? Do you need a thing? Hmm, okay. Well, good times. And yes, I think I took the long way to get here. Yes? Twenty thousand gil. I actually could really use that. And you can complete this quest a lot earlier in the game, I'd like to point out. A Rosetta ring. I think I don't have one. All the rings are starting to blur together for me, to be honest. 30,000 gil. Now we can afford something. Yay! Yes, the 13th Zodiac, Ophiacus. Bring me the 13th. All right, so you can read the story. Um, final, we'll do it, fine. Wait, how much money do we have? 94,000, that's gotta be enough. And I think you gotta go in reverse order? Go see him and he'll tell you the rest. Who kissed Virgo? Ran up a hill. That was stinging his north wind that was stinging his right cheek. Eh? Directions. 
Walked up a hill. Away from the sun. It's to be with you now, but which one? Into the ocean they fell. Are they all into Virgo? Through the forest and over the mountain, he found a star. There we go. Okay, fine, we should have gone the other way. But the short version is... It's uh, actually kind of easy to find. We don't have to travel very far at all. Edit. All right, so if you follow the instructions, it basically is just leading you back to Quan's dwelling. Virgo ended up with Scorpio. Which we, you know, we just got. I think it was Scorpio. I don't know, the one down here. Either way, you just gotta go back here. There we go. They made a baby Stellatio slash Zodiac. Man, I didn't even know about Ophiakis until way later, because I didn't do this quest ever. Um, gaming completionism, it, it might have just been me, but it used to be kind of different. Um, I'm just going to put on the safe travel and the quick travel, and we'll go back. Um, like, there's a lot more really grindy stuff nowadays, in my opinion. So, like, the idea of running around getting, you know, 13 items scattered throughout the world with, like, you know, not a lot of clues. Like, that was the extreme, man. And that would have only been for hardcore gamers. And then, like, achievements came out, and... I'm not saying these things are all, cause like, linked by causality. It just happened, but, like, I remember, like, Assassin's Creed 1 and 2... Both had like the ludicrous, like find a hundred feathers. And you know, it wasn't just them. They weren't like these big statements or anything, but it's indicative of the times, the zeitgeist of completionism. And like MMOs, MMOs sort of popularized the, you know, the stupid quest. Like in Final Fantasy 1, there's only really one side quest and it's to get the rat's tail. And if you do that, all of your characters transform into like super versions of themselves and become more powerful. You'd want to do that. That would help your main quest. And MMOs popularized the... I know you have nine minutes to save the universe from being destroyed by the Lord of Darkness, but I need a pack of smokes. Here's four dollars and fifty cents. Go get me. Or... You know, however many gil, gold she shekels, and uh, and it'll give you a hundred fangs of mammoth when you return. Like, no one cares. Anyway, so we basically swapped quality for quantity. All right. Uh, Cena referred to a hammer in a cutscene when they were repairing Lindblom. Now we have one. You can do some kind of neat stuff with it. Um, we're kind of close. Should we see? Should we see if we can get ourselves a magical fingertip? I'm gonna go the long way and flip a couple items while I'm at it. And then I might do some chocography off camera. Still a little undecided, because, like, some of it's a little mundane. You've seen the gist of it. I'll try to include, like, actually drilling all the locations, though. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna try to make a little bit of money here. I'm gonna try to get paid. Um, and I'm just gonna put it and edit in, because I don't know how long it'll take us to find a magical fingertip. All right, round two. Magical fingertip. We have about 110,000. Let's check, 112,000. I have no idea if it'll be enough. I have done this once before, but I have no memory of it. Maybe I didn't. Maybe because I had Excalibur 2, I never bothered with the original. OK, 
Okay, the the rate's slowing down a little bit. It's still terrifying. Oh my goodness. I mean, I don't really have a ton more to buy in the game. We've got that going for us. There's a secret synth shop. Any more? Oh. Yeah, they're slowing down. We're not going to hit 80. Right? Come on, game. You can just watch the college fund bleed away. Any more? I will take slightly more than that. Come on. There we go. It's a ribbon, it would be nice to have, but I have one. All right, uh, Deguario, and then, and, and, and then something. All right, welcome to Deguario, everybody. And we've got something to deliver. I mean, a rat's tail is already a pretty weird enemy. The magical fingertip, though, I mean, they called me that in high school, but aside from that, I, I can't think of any other time I've heard it. All right, here he is. Old King Arthur himself. No, I don't, I don't, no. I wanna to talk to the person right beside me. There we go. What, what's he gonna do with it? Oh, okay. I wondered if he was some sort of holy knight. Been grieving. Oh, okay. Ew. Ye what? This is kind of weird. Do you have any other tokens? No matter. Excalibur is ours. And soon we'll get a slightly better sword. But uh, I think it has stock break. Hey, that's worth your time. See you in the next episode, everyone.